welcome back to the math revision made meticulous video series today topic vectors day 26 algebra of vectors revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer let us look some ideas about vectors. If a point O is fixed as the origin in space or plane, space means three dimension and plane means two dimension, and capital P is any point, then vector OP, the direction you are seeing OP, is called the position vector of P with respect to O. Whenever you are talking about any point, we talk about its position vector. If I know a point, I can write its position vector. If I know a position vector, I can identify the point. If vector A and vector B are position vectors of the point A and B, they are denoted by vector OA as small a and vector OB as small b. Vector B, vector A and vector B. Now, if you want to write vector AB in terms of the position vector of the terminal points, it will be position vector of the end point minus position vector of the initial point. For how to write it? It is OB minus OA or vector B minus vector A, small b minus vector B minus small vector b. But you have to remember whenever we know a point we can convert it into position vector. If I know the position vector of the end points then I can write the vector in terms of the position vector of the end points. Therefore any vector is equal to position vector of the terminal point minus position vector of the initial point. Now suppose if you take a point capital P x comma y in a plane Already we have discussed what is its position vector. Now we are going to express it in terms of its coordinates. It is called components. Therefore, let ij be a unit vector along yx and oy. What is yx? It is along x axis and oy is along y axis. Then vector op will be written as xi plus yj. Already we have seen that this op is nothing but the position vector of the point P. It will be written as x into i plus y into j. What is this xi? It is the component of the vector along x axis and op for that vector op that yj is the component along the y axis. Therefore, whenever a point is given, you can identify it, so you can express it as in terms of xi plus yj. If you know xi plus yj, you can identify the point. Suppose the same thing is in uh, three dimension, it will have one more uh, k, a unit vector along the z axis, it will be xi plus yj plus zk. For you have to identify whenever a point is known how to write the components. Whenever you know the components how to identify the point. Now we have seen a vector as a position vector then it express it as a component. Then what will be its magnitude? Suppose if it is xi plus yj its magnitude will be square root of x square plus y square. Suppose if it is xi plus yj plus zk it will be root x square plus y square plus z square. Keeping all this in mind, we have to go for some more ideas. Suppose you have two vectors A and B. If they are parallel, then one vector will be written as a scalar multiple of the other vector. Suppose if you are given a vector, the unit vector parallel to the given vector will be a vector by its magnitude. When you identify a vector by its magnitude, you will get the unit vector parallel to A or unit vector in the direction of the given vector. Suppose you have found that a vector is a scalar multiple of the other vector, but both the vectors are having some common point, one common point, then they are said to be collinear. The vector A and B are collinear. If vector A is equal to lambda into vector B for some scalar lambda and vector A and vector B have a common point. But we have just seen that how to identify two parallel vectors, then how to find a unit vector parallel to a given vector or in the direction of the given vector then how to prove that two vectors are collinear. Let us move on to questions now. Find a unit vector in the direction of vector A plus vector B. In the direction means parallel. First let us find what is vector A plus vector B. Very simple. Plus add only the components 2a and i to be added, minus j and j to be added and 2k and minus k to be added. Where you will get 2a minus i for i, minus j plus j for 0j, 2k minus k therefore k. 
Now what will be the unit vector in the direction of any vector? It will be the vector by its magnitude. Therefore, the given vector already have found that it is i plus 0 j plus k divided by square root of magnitude i component the square plus j component the square plus k component square. Therefore, 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square for it is i plus j by root 2. Therefore, unit vector in the direction or unit vector parallel to a given vector is the vector by its magnitude. Let us move on to next question. In the previous question, we have found a unit vector parallel. Now, here they want find a vector of magnitude 5 units parallel to the resultant of the vectors. What do you mean by resultant? The resultant is nothing but the addition that is a plus b. For I have added a and b. Therefore, 2 and 1 to be added, 3 and minus 2 to be added and minus 1 and 1 to be added. Therefore, you got 3i plus j plus 0k. Now, we have just seen that the unit vector parallel to a given vector is a plus b by magnitude of a plus b. Then how to find a vector of magnitude 5 units? Very simple unit vector multiplied by 5. Therefore, vector of magni magnitude 5 parallel to a plus b is 5 into a plus b by a magnitude of a plus b. Therefore, 5 into that. Therefore, 5 into 3i 59 plus 3j by square root of 3 square plus 1 square by 0 square therefore root 10. Let us move on to question number 3. We want we have to show that the points are collinear. When the vectors are collinear, one vector is written as a scalar multiple of the other vector and there is a common point. Therefore, let us try to find what is the given things. When a point is given, I can find OA. When a point B is given, I can find OB. When a given point C, I can find OC. They are very simple. Minus 2A plus 3J plus 5K because minus 2, 3 comma 5 are the coordinates. 1, 2, 3, therefore I plus 2J plus 3K. 7, 0 minus 1, therefore 7I plus 0C minus K. How to find A, B? It is OB minus OA. Very simple. I am subtracting OB minus OA. Okay. Similarly, what is will be BC? You can find BC or CB. Or you can find AC also. For BC is OC minus OB, which is once again 6i minus 2j minus 4k. Now, let us try to check whether AB and BC are connected by some constant. Very simple. From BC, when I take 2 outside, that is scalar outside, it will become 3i minus j minus 2k. Therefore, it is nothing but twice AB. For I have proved that vector B, BC is a scalar multiple of vector AB. But they are, they are having P as a common point. AB and BC are parallel because vector BC is written as scalar multiple of AB. Therefore, they are parallel. But they have a common point B. Therefore, the points are collinear. This is the way to prove that vectors are collinear or points are collinear. If you, now, let us go to the next idea called direction cosines. Whenever you are talking about a line in two dimension, we will always talk about its slope, which tells you the direction in which the line goes. In the same way, we are going for direction cosines of a vector in three dimension. If a vector OP makes an angle alpha, beta, gamma with the positive direction of the coordinate axis, then cos of alpha, cos beta, cos gamma are called direction cosines. They are called direction cosine because we are finding the cos value they are telling the direction therefore they are called direction cosines now we we there in two dimension we have mentioned the slope of a line as m here we will mention the direction cosine three numbers as l m n and it is highly interesting to know l square plus m square plus n square is equal to one whenever we add the square of the direction cosines the answer will be one therefore for a vector there are three numbers which are called direction cosines. They are nothing but cos of the angle made by the line with the positive direction of the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Good. Let us do some problems on direction cosines. A vector OP is inclined to the angle YX with 45 degrees and Y at 60 degrees. Find the angle at which it inclined to YZ. That is with the z-axis, positive side of the z-axis. Very simple. Let uh, direction cosines be LMN. You have been given the angle, therefore L will be cos 45, which is 1 by root 2. M will be cos 60, which will be 1 by 2. And let us, we have to find what is that N, therefore let us find that cos gamma. Now we know that L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. Therefore 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus N square is equal to 1. Therefore N square is equal to 1 by 4. That 1 minus 3 by 4, therefore 1 by 4. 
therefore n is equal to which is cos gamma is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 what will happen if it is plus or minus 1 by 2 therefore it may be either 60 degrees or 120 degrees but here if you know the angle made by a vector with x axis or y axis you can find the angle made with the z axis let us move to the next question if a vector makes angle alpha beta gamma with the coordinate axis that is y x o y y z prove that sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma is equal to 2 very simple question l m n or direction cosines let us take what is L square? Cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. You know what is cos square alpha? 1 minus sin square. Cos square beta is 1 minus sin square beta. Cos square gamma is 1 minus sin square gamma. Now add all of them now. Minus sin square alpha minus sin square beta minus sin square gamma is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 3. 1 minus 3 is 2. Therefore minus 2. Now multiply minus throughout. Therefore sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma is equal to 2. Here we have used the idea that L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1 to prove some more result where sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma is equal to 2. Success is dependent on efforts. All the best. Thank you.